What's going on everybody? It is Wild Willy and before this hunt even begins, this was a not not planned hunt by any means. This first half of the video is me talking over it and I literally spawned in to this lobby on Timber Gold Trails and I heard some footsteps. I heard a butt grunt so I'm getting to the tree stand right now. I finally got my gear loaded up and lo and behold right there I have a pie bald mule deer coming in. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out and hopefully, hopefully we get a good shot on this pie ball. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Oh my god. Oh my god, the pie ball, he's right here, right below me right now, we're going to try to take a recurve bow shot, I'm not good with this, let's see what happens, and it looks like a little far behind, it looks like I barely missed the spine, but it looks a little far back, I don't think I got a good shot. That looks like body blood. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I just did that on a piebald mule deer. And I've literally been in this game for like two minutes. I jumped into my buddy's server and he put up a new tree stand. I was like, you know what, I'll go ahead and try it out. What's the worst that'll happen? And as soon as I spawned into this tree stand, I found this pieball. And it was... It looked like body blood. I'm going to verify, and it is body blood. So I'm probably going to go ahead, hang tight, and let this thing give it some time to go ahead and pass away. So I know it's down, and I may, might have to get a dog. I don't know. Mule deer are, are pain in the butt to track with a body blood because they circle all over. the All over. They kind of zigzag, and it's just so thick in areas. But we're going to go ahead, hang tight. I'm going to continue on calling and see what else comes. We'll give it about 10 minutes or so and go ahead and try to track down this uh, mule deer piebald buck. Oh crap, look at that. We got a grizzly bear coming in. I didn't even realize him. He's about 33, 34 yards hanging out right over there. Luckily I brought the pulsar for this. I didn't even see this grizzly bear. I'm sitting here talking and I'm multitasking, getting excited about this piebald I just shot. Not the tracking, but we're gonna try to take out this grizzly bear real quick. Perfect shot. Perfect. Right behind the shoulder. Probably a double lung, maybe even snuck in a little liver action right there. But we're still hanging out. It's only been about two to three minutes, if that. So I'm going to still give this pie ball more time. But I definitely want to go pick up this grizzly bear because I just can't wait any longer. And there's, there's just so many animals around right now. I think I'm going to actually drop off one of my bows and pick up a rifle just to be on the safe side just so I know I can seal the deal on this pie ball. But here's this grizzly bear real quick. Yeah, holy cow, we absolutely destroyed her. A score of 16.2, so nothing big, nothing big, but the whole thing is this pie ball mule deer buck that we put a horrible shot on. I feel horrible about that shot, but it happens. As long as we can make a successful recovery, it'll all play out and it'll all be good. So let's go ahead. I'm going to change out my loadout real quick. Still going to take my bow. We actually have another bear in the distance. This place is loaded with bears right now. But I'm going to change out my loadout real quick. And hopefully, hopefully we can get on this pie ball. Alright, so I started tracking down my pie ball. And I actually had another mule deer buck call from down the road. So I'm going to go ahead and hunker down right here. I was probably... 75 meters off to my left tracking down this buck and I got this call so I kind of kind of proned and did a lot of crawling and calling just to get to this rock because he called from directly down range of me and he was not super far out so we're gonna probably go ahead and hang tight here this would make the second mule deer buck that's come into this spot if I would have just hung out at this tree stand probably for a little bit longer it would have been a different circum 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 circumstance so uh, words are sometimes hard okay anyways here's another buck call and he's coming in and that is a different buck from what I've what what called okay so this could be a good good sign it could be one of, it could be a uh, group box the group of them we're like you got like five of them coming in and here's one all right there's got to be something bigger than that there has got to be something bigger than that one coming in oh what was that was that another one I thought I just seen a glimpse of something right here I feel like I hear something. I feel like I hear something walking around by me too. There's got to be a bu another one with him. I know two called from the same area. So that's usually a good sign that there's multiples. At least two because we know two called. But usually there's like a group of five of them that run around on some servers. I know on loggers and I've seen it here. There's usually a couple little ones and a medium sized one. And then the Mac daddy of them all. The big dog in the back. Or mixed in the middle. I hear something walking next to me. I think it's a bear. I just heard the... Uh, 
but he I didn't get a call for it. I think it might be a bear. But where? I can't see down this hill because of the weeds. Like I said before, these weeds are so finicky. You can see through them sometimes, and other times you just can't. He's got to be. He's within 20 meters of me. And we got this buck coming in right here. Yep, that's a, that's definitely a bear. That's another buck right there. We got two bucks. No, there's another one. No? Man, I swear. I swear I keep seeing something. Oh, there's another buck in the back way back there. Three little bucks coming in. I got a bear right here. I'm trying to decide if I try to get a shot on this bear or if I try to play it safe here. I'm trying to I'm trying to put some distance in between these bucks because I don't want to spook them all. I would love to get multiple bucks on this. And it's just more animals for the hunt. Make it even better. We got a pie ball hopefully down. Hopefully down. So I'm going to take a gamble right here. I think that other buck in the back is far enough away. So I'm going to take a shot real quick. Okay. Nope, they all spooked. There was another one in the weeds. I knew I seen something in the weeds. Oh, man, I really want to. I really freaking want to, but I don't think I'm going to. There's way too much activity, and it looks like the bear is right down here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is where he was calling from. I really do. Is that... No. Oh, right there? No. I'm seeing things. I'm going, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. But, surprisingly enough, I have no idea why that fourth mule deer did not spook the one in the far back two ran directly at him and he never once flinched i don't know what's up with that but i'll take it i'm not gonna complain he's still coming in we're still giving off calls so we're definitely gonna get a get another chance at another mule deer he's not a giant none of them that we've seen so far have been a giant and oh my goodness right there coming in the woods oh remain calm remain calm remain calm that's a shooter. That's a good buck. That's uh, that's probably a 180. That's a good buck right there. Now, now I'm kind of pinched in the middle here. I know for sure if that bear didn't spook, I have a bear right off to my side. Along with another mule deer buck, small mule deer buck, directly head down walking right at me. And a good 180, solid mule deer buck coming in from my left. This is going to happen quick, folks. This is going to happen quick. As soon as I get a shot on this on this 180 buck, I have to take it. I have to. I absolutely have to. So as soon as he comes out of these as soon as he comes out of the this bush, I have to shoot. This is where things are getting a little intense. I'm kind of tempted to shoot him with a rifle and tag double up, but we're going to take him out with this cuz I know that buck will give me a shot with the rifle when he runs off. As soon as he stops and there it is. Here's my chance. Take a shot. There he's down. He's down right there. There goes another buck. Good buck, good buck running. I think, good buck, that's a good buck, another 170s. Come on, ah! Ooh, man, I think that was a miss. I absolutely think I just missed that buck right there. I didn't even see him coming up from that other side of the hill. That must have been a different one from a different group because he was angled, coming in a different way. But hey, we got two more bucks down. This one, we actually crushed this thing at 148. But I'm not too worried about him. I'm more worried about this bigger one right here. I'm assuming he looked like maybe a 180s. Maybe a low 180. Let's go ahead and take a look. Long hit. 184.4, so a great mule deer. Not an absolute giant, but still a real solid mule deer. And now is when the fun begins. We are going to have to go ahead and track down this buck. So I marked my last location. And I might end up going to get my scent hound out just to help me out on this. Because I really don't want to lose this buck, and he's got, he's got, he hasn't lost a lot of blood yet, but I'm not, I don't doubt it. So, depending on what these next couple tracks are, we might go get my hound and make this track a lot easier. So go ahead and stay tuned. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find this pie ball mule deer buck. All right, so we ended up going to get out Daisy the hound. She's doing a phenomenal job running down this buck. His bleed rate is getting very low, and so far we really have not went super far on tracking down this buck. Which kind of has me amazed because we are literally, literally, I, I couldn't even tell you. It's probably about 150 meters away from where we shot him. And he's doing a loop right now and Daisy is on blood and I see a down deer right there. Now I just got to, I'm going to hang back for a second. I'm going to let Daisy bark and howl it out that. She has found this pie bald, and there she goes. I love the sound of that. That is awesome. 
Absolutely awesome sound. I love that about the hounds right here. You know, regardless, this is not a giant hound. Not a giant hound. Not a giant piebald, but still, still a rare is a rare. I'm not happy with my shot locations. I'm going to try to get Daisy to sit down for a pretty cool trophy shot picture, but we're going to try our best here while I go on and on and on and talk real quick. But, you know, it's not an absolute giant, but it was an experience. This was a great stand location. I'm definitely going to have to write this down and remember this for Timbergold Trails. I've been trying to figure out what kind of map I want to set up. Um, do I want to set up Timbergold Trails, Loggers Point again, or White Rhyme, or what? I, I haven't made up my mind yet, but here he is. Body shot and score of 101, but it is a pie ball, so that is a trophy. So I'm going to go ahead and get a trophy shot real quick. But in, in the meantime of me trying to do this... Please, please leave a like and a comment, and let me know what map do you guys think I should set up. I'm curious. What what map is your guys' favorite map to hunt? Tree stand hunt, any other kind of hunt. So let me know down below, and I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and try to take this trophy shot picture. All right, I like that trophy shot picture. I'm going to add a little filter to it for my thumbnail. This is definitely a mounter, so this is going in the trophy lodge. So until next time, you guys, hunt safe, shoot straight. We'll see you guys out there. Bye-bye.